hi everyone in this video scenario i'm going to show you how to export data from one company to another company from one tally application to another tally application with a different name of company look in this system i just created two branches one is branch one and branch two in branch one i enter ledgers and items and uh, stock in branch two there is no vouchers there is no data there is no stock now i want to export the data from branch one to branch two learn how to export right look branch 2 is showing as no orchards entered branch 1 showing as date of last entry 1st july i am going in branch 1 accounts info ledgers display in this company this many list of ledgers are created this is in branch 1 in branch 2 no orchards entered it means there is no data in this system at the same time there is no ledgers also so look here it is showing only default ledger cash and uh, profit as account so in branch 1 this many entries is there in branch 2 there is no data so in this cases how do you export see in this uh, branch 1 i entered these many entries in branch 2 display and book is zero entry it is showing here zero entries this is the branch 2 and this is branch 1 in branch 1 i entered these many entries in branch 1 and i didn't enter any entry in branch 2 now I want to export the data from branch 1 to branch 2. See all the people they are doing a mistake. They are exporting the data directly and they are trying to import in another company. But be ensure if you want to export any data from one company to another company. In another company also all the ledgers and items should be preloaded. Then only the vouchers can be imported and exported. Look now I am just going to uh, display the book. I am just going directly export for export and import there is only one separate format that is only xml data interchange and this is only the format which is supported for data interchange between one system to another system one tally to another tally and here I am giving the file name as first dot xml and export the same data look here now from branch one the daybook data has been exported to tally folder and this file you need to copy into branch two tally folder for importing purpose right from from branch two i am trying to import the data of branch one by going import of data and vouchers i want to import and i'm giving the file name which is already used to export the file name is one one first First dot XML. See here the ledgers were not imported. The word sorry, the word or the vouchers were not imported. And the reason is in branch two there is no ledgers and there is no stock items. That is the reason. That's the reason the entries were not imported in branch two. See, in branch one, these many entries is there, these many ledgers is there. If you want to export these entries to branch two, in branch two, the ledgers and items should be pre-created then only we can export the data see this is the all the people that are doing the wrong like this and the solution is i'll show the solution just wait a few minutes so look here in branch one accounts info ledgers in the display these many ledgers are created first you need to export these ledgers and import the ledgers in branch two as like in branch one export these items and import these items in branch two after that try to export entries and try to import entries look so we see here there is in the branch two there is only two ledgers that's the reason that is not getting to import to know to export and import the ledger for for viewing purpose just go for display statement of accounts and the statistics you can see the right box ledgers in branch 2 there is only two ledgers in branch 2 there is only two ledgers the two cash and the profit and loss account see here in branch 1 display statement of accounts statistics and ledger there is totally 18 ledgers in branch 2 two ledgers only so that's the reason it is not getting imported as by using that xml file so first open these 18 ledgers by pressing enter on the same yeah and press alt plus e to export this data first click on export alt plus e 
and you click on now and select the format as only XML which is supported for export and import yeah now I'm just trying to export the data of ledgers from branch one by giving the name as ledger dot ledgers dot XML the file name is ledgers dot XML and copy the same file in branch to tally folder so in the name of ledgers I exported ledgers in the name of first first I exported all entries so as like you need to export even the stock items also open stock items and press alt plus e no problem you can press directly alt plus e I am giving the name as items.xml right and again copy the same file in branch to tally folder see the actual procedure is first export ledgers and export masters of uh, items and uh, ledgers and then try to export to uh, entries look now I import these ledgers in branch 2 yeah just go for import data look here before importing i'm showing you that list of ledgers there is only two ledgers before import so come back import of data select here only masters not voters masters for items and ledgers the name of the file to be imported is ledgers.xml ledgers.xml and here select ignore duplicates if there is any preloaded that will that this system will just uh, will not count the same so select here ignore duplicates look the all the ledgers name was imported in from branch 1 to branch 2 so to view that just go for accounts info ledgers and display see here in branch 2 all the ledgers were imported and this is in branch 2 and this is the way to export ledgers and import ledgers next about items and voters see look here in branch one day book there is all our payments receipts and sales and purchases in payments and receipts there is no items in See all, all the ledgers are created only the ledgers are imported in branch 2 and not items were not imported items are not imported see here in, see, in payments and receipts there is no item so no problem we can import easily but if you want to import this sales voucher in branch 2 these items also should be imported see there is a mango and iphone uh, items is there if you want to export this purchase sales version from branch 1 to branch 2 in branch 2 also you have to create these two items also see in branch 2 in uh, import I'm trying to import directly the vouchers the name as first.xml see yes now in branch 2 the ledgers are imported but there is again there is an error we see the error here stock item iphone does not exist so, uh, so here after importing receipts and payments it is started after importing receipts and payments it was stopped importing sales and purchase voucher because of there is no mango there is no iphone item names in branch 2 see to view that just go for display and debut see ya. in branch 2 there is no the items were not imported first import items again the file name is items items.xml again ignore duplicates right now try to import the same look here now I'm just showing you yes even the items also imported look here it, it was imported only payments and receipts sales and purchase were not imported 
in brand front even there is say, there was a for sales and purchase also sales and purchase was not imported because of initially we, we we imported only ledgers so that's the reason it was imported only the receipts and payments see now in brand so even i imported iphone and mango also now so now i can import that except ledgers uh, sorry except vouchers to import the same just to go for import of data vouchers the name is first.xml enter now only the remaining entries are imported so just go for display and debug see uh, even sales and purchase also imported because of now imported ledgers and items so it is easy to import vouchers no problem so this is the manner to export and input be ensure if you want to export any vouchers first export ledgers and export items then try to import ledgers and items and after that vouchers thank you